Hey family, how are you? How are you? I hope you're all doing great. This is Maurice Nelson from Samarita Global Outreach. I thank you so much for um, coming here today and for checking us out. And I would um, strongly encourage you to look around, browse around, see what you find interesting. And um, of course, let us know too if there's something that you'd like to see here that you're not seeing. Um, but I'm, I'm trying really hard to put more uh, stuff in, uh, I'm trying to put more stuff in English for you, okay? Uh, as you know, Samarita functions in the United States as well as the Dominican Republic and in Haiti. So we're a little, you know, all over the place as far as the languages are concerned, but um, we're just so glad you're here. And Samarita would not be Samarita without you guys. I want to talk to you a little bit today um, about something that, that's, it, that's really close to my heart. You know, the Lord is doing such great things, and um, I noticed recently that he is just bringing amazing, amazing, strong, powerful people in my life, people who have known him all their lives, uh, people who are not afraid to speak out about the gospel, people who love God and, and just, you know, they're unapologetic about it. And I can't help but think that there's a lot more behind it. There's more coming. There's a reason that he's doing what he's doing. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where he's going to lead me. And these people are coming from everywhere, from the church I attend, um, you know, from just places I go. And all of a sudden I meet somebody and they're like, they're like such a gift to my life. And I'm really, really thankful about that. And then it, it, it just made me think um, about you guys. Uh, to, to tell you something that, that, that I've learned a long time ago. I've been at this for a while. Samarita is older than, you know, the 10 or the 11 years we're claiming this year. It's something that I've really been doing all my life. And I want to encourage you, if God gives you something to do, mm, don't sit and wait, okay? Don't sit and wait for the best time. Don't sit and wait for the best help, the best of anything, but just just go out and start. Because the, some of the people that I'm meeting and some wonderful people I've met throughout my life, there are some of them who wait, you know, they receive the message, the calling, whatever you want to call it. And um, they, they're like, you know, I, I, I was doing this, but then I stopped. I know I should be doing this, but you know what? I'm just waiting for this and for that. Well, I'm going to encourage you not to do that because there's never going to be a perfect time. And you know this, you know this very well, especially in the context of um, ministry, right? The second you feel the calling, as long as you're, you're sure that God wants you, you know, on, um, on the mission field or, or wherever, as long as you're sure that it's God um, pushing you, then you need to answer to the call. And what you do doesn't necessarily have to be a big, great thing. But it's just something you can do to start. Start something in your living room. Start something on the phone. Get yourself a conference line. Start something there. You see what I'm saying? But make yourself available to God. Make yourselves available so that as you start to go, remember the 10 lepers, as they started to go, they, they started to receive their healing. Well, it's the same thing. Start being obedient to what you're hearing. And then allow God to start that process of downloading into you um, just, you know, one step at a time, what he wants you to do, where he wants you to go, et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to come, you know, to certain points where, where people are just not going to understand you. And they're going to people that they're going to be people that tell you that you're crazy um, because you're going without anything. But see, they don't understand anything about walking by faith and not by sight, but you do. You know all about that. And that's exactly what God is calling all of us to do. He gives us a vision, right? And he tells us to go. If he sends us, I guarantee you, he will make provision. And so don't sit there and wait. Don't let people discourage you. Sometimes it's your own family members who discourage you. Don't allow that to happen because at the end of the day, right? You're not dealing with man. You're, you're dealing with God himself. You're listening to a God who's sending you. And remember, there are people waiting for you. 
there are there are people who are suffering and they are waiting for whatever it is that God gave you to deliver to them. So don't sit there and wait um, and calculate things, you know, based on your own understanding, leaning on your own understanding. Don't do that. Lean on God. Depend on God. Walk by faith and not by sight. Just take that first step, however small it is. Take that first step. Take a second step and watch as God provides and as God leads you every day, you know, to a destination um, that, that you're going to be happy um, to find yourself in. Many of us are still walking, you know, that, that we're still walking that walk. We still don't know exactly where God is taking us. Every day we're going, he gives us something else. He tells us to turn this way, go this way, go that way. And blindly we go down, but we're not blind really because we have the light of his Holy Spirit guiding us. So we may not know, we may not see, but we believe in him by faith. We believe the one who's leading us. So yes, we might be blind, but we're working blindly behind the one who has sight, behind the one who sees everything and who knows the big picture, the grand schemes of things. You know what I mean? Like he knows exactly what he wants us to do. So can you do yourself a favor? Because that thing is nagging at you, right? I, I know once you have that calling, forget it. That thing, every time you see somebody else doing it, it, it makes you upset because you're not, you're not, you're not doing it. You're not, you're not fulfilling your purpose. God wants you to answer to the call. He wants you to do what he wants you to do. So stop fidgeting, stop leaning on your own understanding, stop trying to be in control, just stop, stop trying, trying to figure it all out before you even start. You go to him in prayer, you let him know that you're willing, you're ready, you're available, and then just um, by faith, by faith, right? Not by sight, take that first step, okay? All right. We are here for you to whatever extent we can help, even if it's just words. I believe that words can go a long way. Um, so let us know if there's anything we can do. And um, we want your success. We would love to see you thrive in ministry. God bless you. Maurice Nelson, Samaritan Global Outreach, always for you, always rooting for you. We do everything we do so you can stand stronger, more boldly to do the work of God, so you can do more good and God can receive more glory. Remember, never, ever, ever grow tired of doing good, okay? Love you very much. Love you very much. See you next time. Please let me know about your success stories. Let me know if you started the thing. All right? I'm waiting to hear from you. Love you. Bye-bye.